I used to shoplift for to support a drug habit. Right. And the best people, I mean, target's probably not the right word. Sure. Single mothers on the estate is where, you know, we knew they would be desperate for stuff like nappies. So that's what we'd go out and shoplift, stuff the uh, mums would need and sell it to them for half price because they just struggled too much. Did you just know what was needed and then sort of hawk it, hawk it around yourself? You could, you could take orders, but then you'd get to know, because... Uh, first started off going in the pubs trying to sell batteries and razors and stuff like that then you realize the most desperate people would be like the single mums so yeah. then you just start getting stuff that they want like you uh milk baby's milk bottles yeah. dummies you know that sort of thing what when you were in your sort of it, 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 the deeper the tightest grip of your addiction jason how much would you be nicking um probably about 100 to 200 pound a day from the same places as well. Were you known? Um, yeah, I think they get to watch you, so you have to go spread your net a bit further. And you'd then sell that for for roughly half of what the retail value was. Yeah, you try and get half price. Yeah. And that was yeah, your then, habit. So your habit was fifty to a hundred pounds a day at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, did you ever? How often did you get caught? Um, not that often. I was quite good at it. If I ever did get caught, it was um, like they'd come and find you after. So you, and you're clean now, are you, mate? Yeah, yeah. How long for? Two children now. Oh, well done. Christ, been about five years. So when I tell you that it's gone up by a quarter, and I say, knowing what you know and doing what you did, why do you think it's rocketed so much in the last 12 months? What do you say? Well, people are desperate, and they, they can't afford it, but they need things.